in the sum, square the pyramid is resting on one of its slant triangular face of HP, base edge is inclined at 30 degree to BP, and apex is in BP. So if you see, it is resting on one of its slant triangular face on horizontal plane. So what we will do? First we will draw a square pyramid resting on one of its resting on base with the triangular face on right hand side. Why? Because C this is A B C D OM. First we will do leaving. If you see this is the triangular face on which pyramid will rest. Yeah. See they have mentioned resting on slant triangular face. So this is the triangular face which will appear as a line in front view. Now this is resting on horizontal plane. So what we will do? We will mark B dash C dash. Take B dash C dash to O dash and we will cut on this side. So since I want second stage where I want B dash C dash and O dash horizontal that's why I have done first stage like this. I want this triangular face resting on horizontal plane. Right? So first you draw this. First you mark B dash C dash to O dash. Then take B dash C dash to A dash D dash. Cut here. Take O dash to A dash D dash. In your compass. Cut from here. This is A dash D dash. This is B dash C dash. Project A dash B dash from here, A and B from here, B dash C dash from here, B and C from here. So this is B, C, B, A, O dash from here and O from here. So now when observer is seen from top, this boundary will be done. Right? We need to draw axis also. We'll mark. M dash over here. You can project M. You can project M dash from here. Right? And you get M. This is X. Now we are talking about the dark and dotted. When you see from the top, when observer will see from the top, A dash B dash is nearer to observer. So A D will be dark. Right? Then OC will be dotted, OB will be dotted. Why? Because it is away from observer. Now, if you see the question that mentioned, base edge is inclined at 30 degree to BP. Now, which one is the base edge? In this case, if you see the resting edge, which is on XY line, B dash C dash is the resting edge. This is the base edge. This is inclined at 30 degree to BP. So that we can do, but we need to satisfy one more condition, that is apex is in BP. Now if you see in the last stage we have two information. First one is base edge, see this. The second one is apex is in BP. So what we will do, we will draw 60 degree. I will ask you why we are doing 60 degree. Because here we want base edge inclined at 30 degree as well as apex O on x y line. So if you see this line, they are perpendicular to each other. See, the line passing through O and BC is perpendicular to each other. So I will take 60 degree, I will mark O over here, then I will mark axis, I will redraw this diagonal completely. This is A, B, C, D. This is M. See this. So now if you extend BC and if you find out then it will be 30 degree. 
So what we did, since we had to satisfy two conditions, we took apex O on x y line and we took 60 degree and we have drawn this as it is. So we got BC inclined at 30 degree. So always remember whenever you have two conditions in last stage, so always two or maybe you have to do some, something like this where you have to draw whatever angle is given, you draw 90 minus that and you draw it on the other side. So this is for the construction purpose. Now we'll extend C from here and C dash from here. So you have C dash, same way D from here and D from here. You have D dash, then you have D from here, D from here. So this is D dash. Same way A from here. A from here, you have A dash and this is O dash. Right? Now again, observe the scene from now. This is extreme boundary, which is down. Point B is nearer to the observer, so B2, B dash to A dash is down. Point D is away from observer. See this. Observer is here, D is away from observer. So O dash to D dash will be dotted. Point M is here, and from here you get M joint M dash to O dash, that is axis line. 